Ladies and gentlemen, if you've clicked on this, then you've probably been dreaming about turning those quick sketches into slick professional logos. Well, today I'm here to show you the exact steps to transform that drawing into a digital masterpiece that clients will pay top dollar for. Now, before we dive in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you subscribe. So I'm gonna be sharing all the secrets that led to me gaining 200,000 followers across Instagram and TikTok in just eight months. Now, this has led to consistent high ticket client work, and I'm gonna be sharing all the information I can post in every week to help you on your creative journey. From mastering content creation to building brand identities, start to finish, I'll even give you a deep dive into the financial side of my business. So let's discuss what tools you need. I'm gonna be using an iPad for sketching, but don't worry, if you don't have a drawing tablet, this will be completely fine with a pencil and paper. For sketching, I'll be using Procreate, and for transforming the sketch to a vector, I'll be using Adobe Illustrator. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that this software has been the bread and butter to my success. So if you're hesitant to purchase it, just see it as an investment. Either you're saving money hiring a designer, or alternatively, this piece of software could be the gateway to you leaving your nine to five and designing full time. Now that you're ready, let's jump into the sketch process. Now these sketches don't have to be perfect. My process usually consists of sketching eight to 10 different logos, taking a step back and then deciding which I like the most. The amount of sketches can vary client by client, but once you're happy with the sketch, you wanna click the spanner in the top left corner and head down to share images PNG. If you're sketching on paper, then simply take a photo of the sketch, try and keep it as straight as possible and then import it into Illustrator. So head over to Illustrator, copy your sketches into the 3000 by 3000 artboard. And at the top here, we're going to press crop image and then holding the option key or alt on windows, we're going to reduce the size of the frame to fit our sketch. So let's head over to the circle tool and holding down option and shift, I'm going to make a circle and then I'm going to remove the fill and change the stroke to black. Now I'm just going to position the circle in line with the sketch. <clears throat> and once that's positioned, I'm going to hold the option key down and that's going to duplicate the circle and then I'm going to resize it to fit the shape of the sketch. Now I'm going to select both circles and find the shape builder tool. I'm going to swap the fill and the stroke and then I'm going to select the part of the shape that we need. And as you can see, this created a moon shape. So we can just delete the other parts of the circles. We won't be using them. And then let's reduce the opacity of the moon to 10 so we can still see the sketch. So now we're going to use the pencil tool to draw the paws and the feet of the cat. And then this is, to be fair, one of my go-to tools because when you double click it, you can actually change the smoothness, which makes you look like you have a very steady hand when you're drawing the shapes, when in reality it can be pretty wobbly. So slowly here, I'm dragging the pencil tool around the cut's paws and I try not to go too far out of line, but if you do go out of line, the beauty of the smooth setting is that the design will still seem like you did it with a steady hand. So you don't need to be perfectly accurate, but obviously the closer you can get, the better. So as we're finishing drawing the tail, I'm going to swap the fill and the stroke, and then I'm gonna repeat the process for the other paw. So now that we've done that, let's select the first paw that we did, and we're gonna head over to Object, Path, Offset Path. So now I'm gonna increase this to 30, and I'm gonna use it as a rough guide to make sure that the other paw that we've done just curves nicely in line with it. So selecting the paw, I'm gonna to head to the pencil tool and just slowly draw around the shape. Now to tidy it up, I'm going to head over to remove anchor points and holding shift, I'm gonna delete the points so that we have a smooth curve. Then I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool and now I'm gonna adjust the curve slightly just until I'm happy with them. Okay, so we now have this huge tail which we don't want. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna head back over to the shape builder tool and then holding down Option or Alt on Windows, I'm going to delete the outside that we don't want. Now, I'm just gonna tidy the tail up a bit as it's a little bit thick at the minute. So I'm just gonna reduce the opacity to 50% so I can see the sketch. And then again, using what we learned before, I'm just gonna draw over the points with the pencil tool to reshape the design. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's make the opacity 100%. And then now I'm gonna remove some of the anchor points. So whilst holding down Shift, I'm just gonna delete some of these, and then I'm just gonna adjust it ever so slightly. Now that I'm happy with the tail, I'm gonna grab the pen tool, the shortcut for this is P, and I'm just gonna click every point where the curve ends, and we're gonna ignore the pause for now, as we're gonna use the pencil tool for that. So just clicking on every point where the curve ends, and then what we're gonna do later is sort of bring them up to curve them around. Now that we have our Batman looking cat, let's reduce the opacity to 20% and then beneath the pen tool, we're gonna to wanna to click the anchor point tool. Now we're gonna use this to drag these lines out just to make our cat look a bit less like Batman. So I'm just slowly dragging the curves here to match our sketch. I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna use the pencil tool and I'm just gonna draw over the remaining two paws.
Next, we're gonna to want to add a little bit more to the cat face, just so we have that overlap on the two shapes. So with the pencil tool here, I'm just going from point to point, connecting up just so it overlaps. And then to create the eyes, I'm gonna select the circle tool again and holding down Option and Shift, I'm just gonna create a circle from the middle of the eye and then I'm just gonna duplicate that by holding down Option. Now I'm gonna highlight all the shapes that we've drawn and I'm gonna change the opacity to 100%. I'm just gonna highlight the head and the eyes and then heading over to the Shape Builder tool and holding the Option key, I'm just gonna remove the two circles to make the cat face. Now for the moon, I'm gonna change the fill to white and then I'm going to increase the stroke width to probably around 25, so let's just see how that looks. And now I'm going to bring the moon forward with the shortcut command and close square bracket. I'll put it up on the screen and then selecting the paw, I'm going to bring that forward as well. And now with the shape builder tool, I'm going to merge the cat and the paw's head. So I'm just gonna select them two and then drag over that. And then using the anchor point tool here, I'm just gonna remove these two points and I'm just gonna slightly adjust the curve to match the sketch. With the moon and the paw selected, we're gonna to go to object, intertwine and make. Now drawing over the areas that are hidden will cleverly reveal them. So I'm just gonna circle over where the paw overlaps the moon. And then I'm also gonna highlight where the top arm should be hidden. Now we're pretty much there. So I'm just gonna take an anchor point out from the left side of the arm. And now heading over to the direct selection tool, I'm just gonna round these sharp edges slightly by dragging these round dots. Around 12 looks good. To keep consistency, I'm just gonna hard type it in and I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other sharp edges. Our logo is looking in a good position now. So let's go to object, unlock all, and then we can remove the sketch from beneath it. I'm just gonna round off the corners of the moon now by clicking the shape and heading to stroke, changing the corner to round corner and the cap to round cap. Now the final step for our logo is to duplicate the artboard holding option and then head into object, we're going to click expand on the logo.